The new movement female presidential candidate, 30-year-old Dr. Asha Kasun, said the party will be campaigning heavily to ensure youth involvement in the decision-making process. But as a spin-off from that, marijuana decriminalization for health, religious and recreational purposes would be among its top priorities alongside the legalization of industrial hemp. Dr. Kassoon, the lone presenter at a press conference hosted at the party's Durban Street office on Tuesday, said they are seriously considering the legalization of marijuana for medical use, particularly for a cancer patient in the palliative care sector. It must be prescribed by a licensed practitioner before it can be put into use. It's not Wild West Country. Dr. Kassoon explained that as a long-term plan, the party also wants to solely support the use of marijuana for recreational and religious purposes. We're planning to legalize it, but it can only be used in specific areas that are licensed to sell. No public places should it be used in. You must be 18 years or older, and if you're selling it, you must have a license. The new movement also proposes that any citizen who has been convicted for possession or use of marijuana should have this charge struck from the record and freed if still incarcerated. Is that any citizen of Guyana that has had a charge for possession or use of marijuana, we believe that this record should be removed from their file. Taken into consideration that was their only charge. They should be freed if they're incarcerated they should be able to get a job and not have on record that they were in possession of marijuana. And, well, basically we support it. With the other major parties failing to regularize the use of hemp, the new movement also promises to legalize industrial hemp with the hope that the farms and factories being majority Guyanese owned. Dr. Kisun said for too long, these issues have been seen as a political gimmick and she believes the time has come for action. In previous elections, Guyanese were promised a review of laws relating to marijuana use and possession, and while the issue has been taken up as a review for the wider Caribbean community Carcum, Guyana has yet to conduct its own independent assessment. For years, the Rastafarian community and other sections of society have lobbied for the decriminalization of marijuana. Asked how the party intends to push this agenda, Dr. Kisun said not only is the new movement looking to garner as many seats as possible in Parliament, but it also intends to engage other parties following the March 2, 2020 elections. She promises that it will not be a free-for-all, but a system with policies and strict control. Dr. Kisun said the new movement hopes to be the balance in Parliament following the elections. Kirk Campbell, Newsroom.